Hi, everybody. Sonia Rollins. So excited to be at our Chamber Spotlight today at a Burlington staple. The Capitol Grill has been a long-standing restaurant in Burlington. Those who come here know it's beautiful for lunch, it's beautiful for dinner, it's beautiful to celebrate, it's beautiful to have a business meal in. I'm looking forward to welcoming you back into something we've been to before and be able to see some of the great things they have inside. All right, I'm with Adam Mackler, managing partner of the Capitol Grill. Adam, thank you so much for having You're us welcome. again. Welcome. Thanks for having me. You know, it's amazing because we've been doing this for a long time. I think we came to visit you back in 2018, mm -hmm. pre-COVID days. So a lot has changed, yes. but one thing always remains constant, which is a the reputation of the Capitol Grill, and b thank just you. the spectacular feeling you get when you walk in this restaurant. Well, thank you very much. Tell us how long you've been here and how long the Capitol Grill has so, been burned. So now I've been here for 12 years uh, at this location. I've been with the Capitol Grill for 28 years. This September. Wow. And uh, this location's been here, I think, 07, so 17, 18 years now. It's changed, right? Burlington has changed a little bit. When you first came, there wasn't as many steakhouses or as many restaurants around, but now, really, there's a lot around you. And what I'm always impressed with is that, you know, you have consistently stayed as one of the premier places to well, be in town. You. I do have to add that you and your team have been very benevolent throughout Burlington. So before I say anything else and before we talk steak and all great things, you know, on behalf of the community, we want to thank you because thank you. you do give back a lot. So thank talk you. a little bit about Darden, about the Capitol Grill and about that giving back philosophy. Well, I mean, you know, with Darden and uh, in the, in the Capitol Grill, you know, that's one of our core values is, is you know, giving back to our communities. Yes. Uh, you know, the Capitol Grill was, was doing it before I got here and, you know, we added a bunch of mm -hmm. our, you know, charities when I started here. And, you know, Burlington is just a big part of, uh, of who we are, and, yeah. and we love being a part of the community. You do it with people helping people with, yeah. with that, but a lot of other charities as well. Mo the most recent one right? is the people helping people, and I think we raised $14,000. All right, let's talk food. Okay. So tell me about the Capitol Grill's menu. Tell me about the steaks. Why are you so unique by comparison? Well, I mean, so I think we're one of the only I'll restaurants that dry age our steaks in-house. We have an in-house butcher. His name is Josue, and he's probably one of the most talented people in the restaurant. <laughs> And he hand sculpts each steak. We do a filet mignon, we do our sirloin, our bone in, we do our ribeye, and he hand sculpts each piece of steak. That's it's amazing. If people haven't been here, Adam, talk about your menu a little bit because it's sure. not just a steakhouse. No, no, we have a wonderful seafood uh, menu. We have our tuna, we have the, probably one of the best salmons. People come in here and they love our salmon. Yes. Uh, the lamb chops is one of the best things on the menu. We have an incredible lunch menu. Uh, we do something called our plates menu uh, for lunch. It was developed for the business community to kind of come in, have a quick lunch and get back to the office. But now it's kind of evolved into you know business or coming in uh, with friends and family. And uh, that plates menu comes with a super salad and it comes with an entree. I'm glad you said that because I think sometimes people envision that if they're going to go to the Capitol Grill, it's a commitment of a few hours because it's this long dinner, which it absolutely can be. It can be. But what you're saying is someone can come in, grab a quick lunch, or even sit at the bar. Talk about the bar atmosphere yeah. at the Capitol. Well, the bar here, we, ha we have long-term bartenders here that are some of the best I've ever worked with in the business. We have a lot of bar regulars that come in. We have a very unique specialty cocktail menu. If you don't know, please come in for our Stoli Doli. Everybody. Which is the pine Everybody. <laughs> yeah. I always tell people that we're as famous for that as steak. Yes. Uh, but it's our pineapple-infused vodka martini. Just delicious summer, winter. And, you know, there's most nights the bar is filled, and it's, it's a really fun environment. Yeah. While we're talking about the bar, talk about your wine list, because you have an extensive well, one. We're very blessed. We have an award-winning wine list. We have an incredible wine director that works here with me, Jessica. You could get wines from France, Napa, all over the world, and different price points as well. So we, we like to match different price points with the wine. The team is trained to when you come in, and you might want a little education on that, or you might know what you want. Yeah. And we'll be able to lead you to what would you know work well with your dinner. Let's talk about your team because uh, you've said best. two different. I love that you said two different things just even in this conversation. First, you name people by name. You've said they've been here a long time. Long time. They are the best in the industry, among the best in the industry, right? And let's talk about how Darden acknowledged that for you. We were blessed last year, 2023. We won Darden's highest honor, which is called the the Diamond Club for Darden. And uh, it's a team award, and they base it on several different categories that kind of have to, you know, blend all together to win it. Yeah. And this team really stepped up. You know, part of it is, of course, sales, it's team member turnover, and it's, it's our guest surveys, which we were one of the highest in the company. And, you know, that's from our team. And we're sitting actually in a room that's a private dining yes. room. So while we're talking about just different areas and whether you're coming in to celebrate or you're bringing in a business person, 
Talk about your private dining areas and the possibility to do private events here. Yeah, so we have three rooms. This is the boardroom. Some people call it the Betty Davis room. Yeah. Uh, so Capitol Grill has portraits around the dining room with people that have done stuff in the area. So Betty Davis, who's was from, from Lowell. You know, this one seats up to 12 people. Uh, very nice for a business setting or a birthday. Yeah. We also have another room called the wine room, uh, which seats up to 32. And that's a, you know, a great one for lunch. Uh, we have businesses come in, different firms, you know, pharmaceutical, real estate, and they come in and they do their presentation. We have big screen TVs in each room. And then we have another room, which is great, called the Wayside Room, and that seats up to 20. And that's another perfect setting for, you know, family or, or business. Adam, you know, one of the things that I really, if I could say, loved during COVID, which, you know, that's like a tough thing to say, right. but lessons we learned during that. I remember very vividly coming and getting takeout from the Capitol Grill, yes. which was kind of like a bonus at that point, right? It, does that takeout still happen? Are you it still? It does. Yeah, it's yes. still available it, it, then. It really is. It's still available, and it's something that we still do. I mean, we still do our steaks to take home with you from our butcher shop yes. that, that, that we still do. But that was something that really evolved um, to something really big during, during COVID, and something that's stuck. And if you want to, maybe there's a night that you don't want to you know, go out to dinner and you want the Capitol Grill at home, uh, you know, the chefs here do an incredible job. They treat it like it's in dining food. Yes. And you could take it home and, and have a wonderful dinner at home. And there were yes. like little tidbit secrets yes. from the chef inside the bag. Yes, we still do that, you know, yeah. how to cook it. We give exactly. you our seasoning, our special seasoning that we use. Yeah. And, uh, you know, instructions on how to cook the steak. And what do they do? Call and order it? How, how yeah, do they you, do you that? You can come in and order it or you can call on the phone and call ahead. Okay. And then when you arrive, we'll have it ready for you. Chef, I love it back here. This is like the heart of the Capitol Grill, right? Talk a little bit about your butcher area and the meat you bring in. Yeah, this is definitely our favorite place here. This is where we um, make. This is where we make all our magic happen. Uh, so, in here, we set up all our strip loins. You'll see the, a, the different color as it goes up. Each shelf is done. We go between 18 to 21 days for our dry age process. Um, every time, so our butcher, every time he pulls one to cut. He replaces it back up, so we keep, right now my par is about 150 strips on the shelf, which is good for us for our, for our, our season right now. Yes. Um, we find about 18 to 21 days is a great uh, spot for us to be in as far as our dry aging. Some people can go for 40 days, some people go 30 days, some people go less. For us, the longer you do it, you get a more gamey taste to the meat, but it's still, our meat is still tender um, for that, for that po uh, point, 18 to 21 days. Talk a little bit about you have a harvest program. What does that entail? Every Dodden restaurant donates steak, mashed potatoes, different types of food that we you know, don't use in the restaurant, and we donate it to different food pantries in, in the area. And every single Dodden restaurant does it. So I think it's probably one of the most important things that we do as a, as a restaurant company. It's all about giving back, whether you're doing that by bringing people into the restaurant and doing fundraisers, or doing that by giving food that you're not necessarily using here, but is obviously still very good steak. Yes, exactly. We are with Chef Tommy, Patrick. Tom, Chef Tommy, you've been the executive chef for how long at the Capitol Grill? Uh, 17 years. 17? I've been with the Capitol Grill 17 years. That's amazing. All right, tell us what you're making for us today. All right, doing two things today. One is we're doing an eight ounce sliced filet. All our filets are all center cut filets. We slice it and we we let it rest. We do, I'm gonna do a mid-rare today and we're gonna finish it with a shrimp scampi. And then we're also gonna be doing a 10 ounce Kona salad. We call it, it's a Rick style because it gets balsamic and oil over it. A little bit different than our Kona shallot butter. It is a 10 ounce sirloin. We, we uh, put our Kona rub on it and it's gonna be sliced, going with a fresh mozzarella, arugula, heirloom tomato salad. Let's, let's do this, let's start, there we go. Our seasoning salt with all sides of the steak. Yes. Make sure it's very tender. Sirloin cooks very quick, about five, four to five minutes, that'll be done. Filet, about seven minutes. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shrimps, a little bit of our seasoning salt, both ways, nice seasoning. Right on the flat top. I was saying with Adam earlier, Chef, you know, you're known for your steak, but your seafood is just as beautiful here. We sell a ton of seafood here, very fresh, every day comes in. Cherry tomatoes, roasted garlic, and then we'll go over here. Got a nice char going on it. Thank you. 
to the white wine. We let it cook down with the white wine. We get our flavors of our tomatoes, the garlic flavor coming into it, into the scampi itself. So we'll let that keep cooking. Check our steaks. Don't need any more that. That will cook a little bit more. All right, shrimp's curling up. Looks like it's just about done. Finish it with a little bit of garlic butter. Basil. At the end, fresh lemon. We're gonna go a salad. Okay, balsamic. Yep, so it gets a little bit of balsamic, a little oil, a little bit of salt over the top of it. Just give it a nice little toss together. It is always fresh. Just get a little bit more tomatoes in there. You can never have enough tomatoes. We use our heirloom tomato. Oh, wow. And over here you'll see our mozzarella. She just got done making it, so it's still a little soft. Finished right on top. We give it a little bit of oil over the top and a little bit of salt. Beautiful, and you said, obviously, the mozzarella is made fresh. Fresh, every day, yep. And now let's go plate our steak. We slice it, salad like this. Now you said that is not on the menu? Not on the menu, this is our special. Finished with the aged balsamic and extra virgin olive oil. And this right here is our sirloin salad special, which is a Kona crusted sirloin with a fresh tomato mozzarella salad. Stunning. And now this is the shrimp scampi that we made a little bit earlier. Let all the ingredients just melt together. You never want to overcook it, then it separates and breaks, and it's just, you don't want a greasy taste, you want a nice, smooth, buttery taste. Amazing. Really, really beautiful. Can you talk about how careful Darden and the Capitol Grill, of course, are with people with shellfish allergies, for example. Like I said, 17 years in the company, I've never had an issue with it. Right. We have different um, steps for it. Once the, ster the server uh, talks to the table, yes. uh, they'll find out about allergies, they'll let the kitchen know about the allergies. Yes. We have a slip for the allergies, the manager will go over to the table and address the allergies. I will go over with the server, everything they can have and can't have. Um, and then before they order the food, the server has to come to me or the chef in the window and go over everything that's in it. Perfect. Um, like you know with allergies, it's not just one, you have the recipe, but then there's a million things that go into the recipe. So uh, servers 100% know they have to come and nothing, is three steps. You always have to go through a chef, the server, and the manager on, a, on everything. So it's always good to kind of deliver this news to people because people get very nervous, of course, as rightly so, right? And they can feel comfortable knowing they can order a steak, but there's no cross contamination with shellfish. Yes, I, my, my, my kids have allergies. I'm very, very, uh, very aware of allergies, how important it is, and it's just a thing that we're, we're very um, proud to be on top of. Right. Chef Tommy, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. It was, it was a pleasure. One thing's for sure, when you finish a chamber spotlight at the Capitol Grill, you know that there's certainly something for everybody. If you haven't been here recently, you really should be coming down and taking a look again. For those of you that come here, the quality is as good as ever. For Chamber Spotlight, I'm Sonia Rollins.